Hey, Crosspoint family, TJ and I back again for another worship and word, and we're so excited to share with you the song Waymaker and unpack that a little bit. Um, but instead of me uh, sitting here on my acoustic guitar like normal and singing it for you, uh, we have a special arrangement of this song that our worship team has put together uh, over the course of the last few weeks, and we'd love to share it with you, and I hope it encourages you and blesses you. So take a look.
stop, you never stop working. Never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see that you're working. Even when I don't feel that you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see that you're working. Man, how cool is that? Our worship team has got to be the best worship team around. I'll put them up against they rock. anybody. Absolutely. Uh, and they did that totally on their own without even being prompted. Uh, so thank you to, wor- to our worship team. You guys are, are the best. Uh, and hopefully um, you guys were blessed by that song uh, as much as we have been. Um, so my favorite lines uh, in that song are probably the lines that go, even when I don't see it, you're working, mm-hmm. and even when I don't feel it, you're working, because I'm a feelings-oriented person, mm-hmm. um, and a lot of times my um, perception of whether or not God is involved and God's working mm-hmm. in my life revolves around my feelings, even though Scripture clearly says it shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Um, so I love that reminder in that song, yeah. that even when I don't see it, That's even right. when I don't feel it, God is still here, and He's still working That's right. uh, on my behalf. Um, and it just brings a couple of scriptures to mind. The first is, uh, is one of the favorites in our family, our kids. You know, We talk about it with them all the time comes from Proverbs 3, uh, verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Uh, our own understanding is our feelings. It's what we can perceive. It's what we think. Uh, and when we lean on our own understanding and on our own feelings, we're always going to come up short and we're always going to come up wondering uh, why things aren't working the way that we think they should. But when we trust in God with all our heart, uh, that, that scripture goes on to say uh, that we submit all, everything to him. We acknowledge him in all we do and he will direct our paths. That's right. Uh, rather than us trying to pull the strings and direct our own paths. Uh, and then Proverbs twenty eight twenty six says, Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, mm-hmm. but whoever walks in wisdom will be delivered. Again, just further uh, support for the fact that when we trust in our own minds and our own abilities and our own feelings, mm-hmm. um, man, we're always going to come up you know, short and, and wondering, man, God, where are you? Are you even there? Um, when in fact, he is there all the time. And then the last one uh, is a quote straight from Jesus in John chapter 5, verse 17. Uh, It was after he healed a man on the Sabbath who had been lame for 38 years. Mm -hmm. Um, And instead of the Pharisees um, being amazed and being grateful that Jesus was able to Mm. perform this miracle, they were more focused on the fact that he was doing work on the Mm -hmm. Sabbath day. And Jesus' response to them was simple. It said, my father is always working and so am I. And so that's another thing that goes with those lines is that even when we don't see it, even when we don't feel it, he never stops. Mm-hmm. He never stops working. God is always working in our life, even when we don't think it is, and even when uh, the world says that uh, maybe he shouldn't be, or maybe uh, you know it's not the time for God to be involved. God is always working in our lives. That's right. And Jesus is, like you just said, somebody, a God who is always the God who is always working um, on our behalf. And he's also the God who makes a way. In John 14, 6, Jesus says of himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And you and I, we were created ultimately 
most importantly, for a relationship with the one who created us, our Father God. And the only way, because of our sin nature and the sin that separates us from God, that we can have a relationship with him is through Jesus, the one who makes a way by dying on the cross for our sins and rising again and defeating death, sin, hell, and the grave once and for all. And what should our response be to uh, this work of God, uh, to our King Jesus who makes a way for us to have a relationship with God? It's to simply respond by saying, I worship you, I worship you. So may that be an encouragement to you uh, today, wherever you are, just knowing that we worship and serve uh, the good God, the one who makes a way, the one who is working on our behalf and the times we see it and especially in the times that we don't. And our prayer for you and for us is that our faith would be strengthened to follow God uh, even when we don't see it and to trust him even in the dark places, knowing that he is working and that he is continuing to make a way for us to know him and to grow in our relationship with him. Amen. Guys, uh, if you have received any encouragement from our amazing worship team today or from anything uh, that Doug and I pulled out of Scripture, mm-hmm. uh, we just ask that you would share that. Uh, you can share it on social media. You can follow us on social media. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel just so that anytime we post something new, you'll be sure to get updated so, uh, so you can keep uh, getting some good stuff uh, from the Word of God. We're going to go ahead and pray, uh, and then we will see you guys next week. We love you guys. God, thank you for today, and thank you for the opportunity um, just to work alongside of, of people like our amazing worship team yes. who serve this community, uh, not because they're getting paid, not because they're obligated to, but because they love you and mm-hmm. they want to see this community come to know you, Lord. Uh, so, Father, we just pray that in everything we do in our lives, Lord, that we would remember that we were once so lost and so far away. And because you are the way, the truth, and the life, Lord, we can now come before the throne of God boldly and confidently as children uh, of the living God, Lord. So we thank you so much for that. And like Doug said, our response, Lord, to you and to all you've done for us is simply to worship you. Yes. And Father, we just pray that you help us to remember that even in the moments, and there are a lot of them uh, throughout our lives, even in those moments when we can't feel you, when we can't see you, uh, and we're not sure if you're, if you're doing anything or if you're even there, Lord, Lord, help us to remember uh, and to build our lives on the promises of your word that says you'll never leave us, you'll never forsake us. We aren't called to trust in our own understanding. We are called to submit to you, to acknowledge you, Lord, and you will make our paths straight. That's right. Lord, just like Jesus said, the Father never stops working Mm -hmm. and you never stop working on our behalf. We love you. We thank you so much for that. In Jesus' name, amen.